guys. Once again, thank you for keep on watching my videos, and I hope you are all learning and enjoying it as well. Now, let's have first Marvin or lab code. According to Johann Wolfgang, and I quote, Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. We have our own dreams, ambitions, goals and plans in life. So we need to apply all of our learnings that we encounter in our everyday journey. We need not just to imagine but also to work for it and build it into reality. This is also related to the other saying, Action speaks louder than voice. Apply those what we have learned and do for what we can do now. And because we are in Makati, make it happen. Right. I stand corrected for what I've said from the last topic we had about GCF. Again, GCF is also known as GCD. GCD stands for Greatest Common Divisor, not Denominator. Although divisor and denominator are interrelated, but I will discuss that on my next video and topic about fractions. Welcome again to our Matanong! Hit pause if you want to read, analyze the problem, and solve it. Pause it now. I think you are done. We will discuss and solve this after my discussion. So keep on watching and check your work later. Our topic is all about LCM, Least Common Multiple. Just like what we did to our topic GCF, let's review again some key points to be used in this topic. First, synonyms of list is the smallest. Smallest is the most commonly used in most of the problems. Next, you mastered already the four basic operations, especially multiplication and division. Then, don't forget about divisibility rules so that it is easy to think numbers divisible by any given numbers. Lastly, let's go back to the meaning about multiple. Multiple is the product result of one number multiplied by another number. Example, 3 has a multiples of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on and so forth. Why? Because when you multiply 3 times 1, you got 3. 3 times 2, you got 6. 3 times 3, you got 9. 3 times 4, you got 12. 3 times 5, you got 15. And so on and so forth, no? That's why these are the multiples of 3. Or you are just keep counting by 3. Alright, alright. Let's discuss now on how to find the LCM or least common multiple. The commonly used again in finding the LCM, just like the same with the GCF, is traditional method. This method is also called as listing method. Listing method, why? Because we are going to list down all the multiples of a given number. Just take for example, LCM of 3 and 4. First thing to do is to list down all the multiples of 3 or just skip counting by 3. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18, and so on and so forth. And multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on and so forth. Now, by looking at all the multiples of 3 and 4, what number has a common multiple? Just focus on the multiples. Now, if there is more than or more than two or more, you just focus on the least one. That's why it's least common multiple, yung pinakamababa. Is there a number that can be seen? Multiple from three and four. Yes, we have 12. Now, that is our answer. LCM of three and four is 12. What if there are several given numbers, just like 12, 48, and 72, and four given numbers? Is it applicable to use traditional method? No. You will take time. So, just like what we did, we will use continuous division in finding the LCM of three given or more numbers. Let's proceed now 
let us use continuous division in finding the LCM. All right, all right, all right. Find the LCM of 24 and 36. The same procedure. List down all the numbers, 24 and 36. Think of a number or any factor or divisor that can be divided both the number. What is the number? 2. 24 divided 24 divided by 2 plus 12. 36 divided by 2, we have 18. What is the number? Can be divided by 12 and 18. We have 2. 12, 18 divided by 2, we have 6 and 9. Is there any number that can be divided by 6 and 9? Yes, we have 3. 6 and 9 divided by 3, we have 2 and 3. Is there any number can be divided by 2 and 3? Other than 1. Nothing. So therefore, stop there. And this time, since we are getting the LCM, you are not just listing down all the numbers on the left, but you will include also the numbers at the bottom. We have, again, list down all the numbers on the left and at the bottom. Okay. Why? Because this is LCM. Just follow what is the first letter? L. It's just like letter L. Okay, list down all the numbers. We have 2, 2, 3, 2, and 3. Then, multiply. Okay, 2 times 2, we have 4. Times 3, we have 12. 12 times 2, we have 24. And 24 times 3, we have 72. We have the LCM of 24 and 36, 72. Now, let's have another example. What if our given is three given numbers? 54, 96, and 72. Now, list down again. 54, 96, 72. We have what number? Three. Okay, 54, 96, 72 divided by three. We have 18, 32, 24. What number can be divided? We have two. 18, 32, 24 divided by 2, we have 9, 16, 12. Is there any number that can be divided in all given numbers? Wala. Meron lamang dalawa. But you will not stop there. Since LCM po ang ating kinukuha, you can now divide if there are 3 or more given numbers, you can apply or divide also at least two given numbers. So, kahit dalawa lang ang pwede mong ma-divide sa given number, you can divide. Okay? But if there is a number that can be divided in all given numbers, mas okay. Pero kung wala nga, kung dalawa lang ang pwede, pwede po tayo ngayon mag-divide. Example, 9, 16, 12. What do you think is the number that can be divided in any two of the given numbers? 3. 3 can be divided or applicable to 9 and 12, right? But 16, we cannot divide. So what we will do, take note of this. Now, 9 divided by 3, we have 3. 12 divided by 3, we have 4. Now, what will you do? 16 di divided by 3, my remainder. So what will you do? You just copy the number, 16. Okay? If the number can't be divided, you just copy. Okay? Now, 3, 16, 4. We cannot divide again to the given, to all the givens. Now, what is the number that can be divided? Let's see. We have 2 applicable only for 16 and 4. So, what will you do with 3? Just copy. Okay? 16 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2, we have 8 and 2. Now, is there any number? Yes, we have again. 2. We have 8 and 2. But 3 is not applicable. So, what will you do? Just copy 3 and 8 divided by 2. 4. 2 divided by 2. We have 1. Is there any number? Wala na. So, stop there. Then, proceed. List down all the numbers on the left and at the bottom. We have 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 4. 4, 1. Then, multiply. You can include 1 or pwede namang hindi na. 
Okay? So, bahala kayo. Wala naman. It's not big deal. It's either you include 1 or hindi na. Okay. Then, multiply. 3 times 2, we have 6. Times 3, we have 18. 18 times 2, we have 36. 36 times 2, we have 72. 72 times 3, we have 216. Then, 216 times 4, we have 864. So, LCM of 54, 96, and 72 is 864. Let's proceed. Have another solution. What if I have another solution? Is there any problem with us with the answer? Nothing. It won't affect the answer. Still, we have 864. Look at my example there. I have different solutions. Okay. So, if you want to, to, to review it, just post. Hit pause. Now na. I think you are done. Let's proceed to the last example. What if our given are four numbers? Same procedure. List down all the numbers. Divide the number to a common divisor or factor. We have two. Divide all the given numbers by two. We have 8, 24, 40, 48. What is the number? Again, divide by 2. We have 4, 12, 20, 24. Then, what's the number? Divide by 2. What's the answer? 2, 6, 10, 12. Do you think? Again, divide it by 2. So, we have 1, 3, 5, and 6. Do you think there is a number that can be divided in all given numbers? Voila. So, choose two or three numbers that can be divided in a number. We have three. Okay, so three is applicable only to three and six. That's why copy one, three divided by three. We have one, five is not applicable. So copy five, six divided by three. We have two. Is there any number that can be divided from one, one, five, two? Wala no. So stop there. Next procedure, list down all the numbers, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 5, 2. I did not include number 1. So therefore, multiply. Multiply the numbers, we have 480. So the LCM of 16, 48, 80, and 96. I will show you another solution. Yeah. What's the difference of two solutions? Okay, the first solution that I have are the solution if we are going to think a prime factor. No, when we say prime factor, a number that has only two factors, one and itself. But if there is no direction that you need to think of prime factors, you just go to my next solution, my second solution. As long as you have the right number that can be divided in the given numbers, there is no problem. So therefore, our answer is 480. Let's come now to Math Triangle! Get out now your piece of paper. Find the LCM of the following numbers using the continuous division method. Practice using continuous division method. Let's start. Number 1. What is the LCM of 8 and 14? You have your own time. Hit pause now na. Okay, I think you are done. Let's reveal the answer. 8 and 14 has the answer 56. Okay, that is my solution. And if you have any other solution, it's okay. As long as you got the correct answer, 56. Okay, let's proceed. Number 2. What is the LCM of 15, 45, and 60? You have your own time. Hit pause now na. I think you are done. Let's reveal the answer. We have 180. See, compare your solution to my solution. And if you got 180, congratulations. You got it! Now, let's proceed to number 3, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Let's find the LCM. You have your time. Hit pause. Now, na. I 
think you are done. Let's reveal the answer. This is my solution. Okay, our answer is 72. You got the correct answer. Congratulations! Okay, let's come now to Matanong. Marie is packing equal number of apple slices and grapes for snacks. She bags the apple slices in groups of 12 and the grapes in groups of 14. What is the smallest number of grapes that she can pack? What do you think is the clue word or clue words in the given problem? Yes, we have the words smallest number. See, this is the application of our topic. Finding the smallest number of any given numbers. What are the given numbers there? We have 12, groups of 12 for apple. We have groups of 14 for the grapes. So, ang tanong is, mga ilang bilang ng grapes ang pwede niyang ipak kung sa bawat pack ay mayroong 14. 14 packs. Now, what is the smallest number? Para eksakto, walang labis, walang kulang. So, we will get now the LCM of 12 and 14. What is the number can be divided? We have... 2, then 12, 14, divided by 2, we have 6 and 7. Is there any number that can be divided? Wala na. So, therefore, multiply 2 times 6 times 7, we have 84. So, the answer to our problem is 84 grapes. That's the smallest number that can be packed by Marie. Congratulations to those who got the correct answer. <laughs> Now, I think it's Mathematics time. It's Mathematics time. It's Mathematics time. Get ready. Let's sing hard. Boom, 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 boom. Find the LCM of the following numbers using the continuous division method. I have again five numbers to answer. Get ready your paper. Here are the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You have your own time. Get your paper now. Start answering using the continuous division method. Hit pause now na. Okay, I think you are done. So let's reveal the answers. We have number 1, 84, number 2, 180, number 3, 216, number 4, 480, number 5, we have 2,904. Then, if you want to compare my solution to yours, then you hit pause if you want to see it clearly. Okay, congratulations to those who got Perfect score! Yay! Let's reveal Matano! Now, this is your assignment. Romina ordered the pizza. It was divided into eight equal slices. She ate three slices right away and another slice after an hour. What fraction of the pizza did she eat? This is your assignment and the answer will be revealed on my next video. So keep on watching guys. Once again, thank you for keep on watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Simply March. Bye-bye. God bless and happy learning.